Elizabeth and Albert brought their first child, Princess Elizabeth, into the world on the 21st of April 1926. The birth of Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was difficult, needing a caesarean section. It had been a long time since there'd been a baby in the royal family, and the birth threw the Duke and Duchess into the media spotlight for the first time. Their second child, Margaret Rose, was born at Glans on the 21st of August, 1930. Yet more difficulties meant that the Duchess could not risk a further pregnancy. There would be no more babies. The Duke and Duchess doted on their children. The Duke was close to the young Elizabeth emotionally and in character. They understood each other deeply. She inherited his shyness. Margaret was the delight in her father's life, a playful, affectionate bundle that both embarrassed and pleased him. The Duke and Duchess of York broke the pattern of coldness shaping the royal family's relationships, giving their children warmth and affection. That is not to say they were a normal family, the Duke and Duchess would disappear for months at a time, visiting far-flung parts of the empire. But the two princesses were brought up knowing that their parents loved them. The little family that the Duke and Duchess of York created, what Albert called Us Four, was a closed little world, where the inhabitants pretended that they were ordinary. Newsreel images of the time show the Duke and Duchess with the young Elizabeth and Margaret on outings like any family. They were never ordinary. An army of staff surrounded the children. They were taught privately by a governess and cared for by nannies, rarely meeting other children. <laughs> 